just to tighten them a little bit, not too much. And as you can see here, we have all these pencil webs that are actually hanging, you know, but not loose, you see? So then I can just take, for the, for the sake of showing here, take a straight surface, like, like this, let's say, or down, right? And I would just push against the surface until it touches down, like that. And then I would push again this in the front. So I would push it that way. And the tips are coming out right there. And you're ready to go. There's no problem whatsoever. It's like push back, take the tips, tighten, and you're ready to go. So you sort of see if they're really straight, which they are. These are 0 0.5 LEDs, and you have to be a little bit careful if you have them way out there, because they do break. I mean, you're taking them really out. But don't forget that this is to generate volumes really easy and assume some kind of volume direction. It's not for actually you know, killing paper with lead. So as you would see here, the newly sharp leads and we haven't added shadows yet we're just creating some type of voluminous masses to indicate uh, where where these muscles are uh, curving and where they're starting and where they're ending so if you want to go harder, you can just take a normal pencil because I'm, I'm never against, you know, traditional means. Uh, the normal pencil would actually aid you to sort of pinpoint. Although you could do it with this or with 0 0.7 or 0 0.9, you could do it, but you have to be extra careful because if you press too much on one of the leads, it will break and it will take some of it with it. So. If you want to do it gradually, do it really gradually and lightly. Don't try to sort of press down really hard to create directly the tone you want to make. And continuing here, you can grab it like a pencil now. So if you see this finger is there instead of there now, it's this finger is there and the same with this. So now this part here touches the finger on the inside, the index. So if you grab it really low, you'll have really good control. So if you, even if you grab it here, you'll have really good control of the tip and do with it whatsoever you want like really small volumes so it depends of it depends on how high or how low do you grab the pencil brush to actually uh, get all the effects you want out of it and I might as well tell you that it's, it's a wonderful uh, creative experience because suddenly I can think oh oh I want to add wings to this guy, I, w I want to change his face and I just immediately erase the eyes here right and and I start doing something else but I can still see a little bit of what was going on down there although not very persistent it's still down there so I'm gonna just create a, some, some, some glasses let's say so I just really lightly some bionic glasses nonetheless really lightly just line up and here I've created like a multiple sensor kind of glass thing so that would be the 
close. And if you go here now, grabbing it really closely, if you want to create small volumes, you grab it really close. And you just drag in the direction you want to create the volume. So, and I'm going to show you here. Right there. So you create this multiple sensors as I call them now. And you can create a little separation with a skin, something that shows it presses against the skin. Like this. And that's his nose. Uh, this is an A4, so I'm this you can see the yeah. You see the size is not very big, so I'm gonna make something for his ear here as well. So it's kind of jacked in cybernetics, and of course I can just erase farther and reach to the back of his head and create some kind of a, a spine that. carries this and the spine has some injections into his body like so and I erase along those things to generate the new patterns that I want to add in so as you can see it's some kind of a tube system that goes from his spine into his body just to show you that the process can be very very awesome and creative and as you can see I haven't used anything else other than this uh, pencil brush so if you want to add more and more detail as you go along you can pick up a pencil and sort of you know, add lines or cuts, you know, although you could do it with this, sometimes it leaves two lines or three lines, you know, if you're not using it the way that design demands, I guess. Um, okay. I'm going to make like a like a twisted metal that goes on here and just whatever comes up to you you can just mark it on the spot and generate the volume you want directly without hesitation and I think that's very important when it comes to creating stuff because most of the time I don't finish, I, I used to not finish things because, well, it took too long to render with a pencil and make them all perfect. So I'm basically a lazy guy when it comes to that. So, as you can see here, Right, so then you can then you can erase his chest right here and make like a a plug in something, you know. Like you can assume its shape, it's either something spherical or some kind of a tube or any other shape you might conceive. Um sort of merge it with his body directly. You can work on the details later, but this will kind of give you the possibility to uh, give you the possibility to sort of design on end and then sort of if, if you want to finish it and make it more defined you can by means of either pen or you know, like a watercolor or markers or whatever you may want to 